who sent me this pack now anyway guys how are you <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you are seeing my face for the first time you're welcome my name is Linda and I'm a mommy vlogger based here in Oka and I'm the state of Nigeria, yes. And for my OGs, thank you so much for clicking back again to my video. If you've not subscribed, even the new people and the old people, please subscribe and join my family, okay? So today is a rant video, but first of all, I want to do Enugu Abachapata, okay? You know, Igbos, all of us, I think even our Kwaibon people, they do Abacha, I don't know. But everybody has their different ways of making their own abacha. And I want to show you guys how Enugu people, Imana, when it comes to abacha and the Okba, it's from Wawa. Mm -hmm. So I want to show you how we do our own abacha. And just, it's a frying pattern, okay? So I'm going to carry you guys along. We cook the abacha. Then I will balance and be eating. Then we chit chat. This is a rant video, okay? Guys, forget that I'm all laughing. <laughs> You don't talk how much, I'm very angry and I want to rant. With the title of this video, you should already know. Hmm? But let's just go and start the cooking. Let me not ramble too much. I will see you after the cooking, okay? Okay, guys, these are my ingredients, and here I have my ice fish, mackerel, horse, crayfish, gade egg, balmo. Ogri, potash, uh, egg seed, I don't know the English name, onion, oba, magi, salt, Cameroon pepper, and the abacha with my red oil, okay? So that's all I'm going to use. But first of all, I want to do ungo. This ungo is optional, okay? But I just want to do it for the purpose of this video, okay? So let's... properly washed my hands okay and here I have my pami water if you eat a batch without some water in my name I'm one your lemon I just rationed my own inside here the full keg of the palm wine is in the fridge so guys Let's eat. And here is my chilled water. Father bless us, we eat through Christ our Lord.
Guys. Leave me small minutes. Can't, can't touch good also. God of miracle. We fry our own. That is the confirming new butter. You will use red oil to fry the fish. Then you will now use the fish oil to do the abata. You went up there. The topic of today, the center of attraction is for the girls, the women. I watched a video yesterday on Facebook. A married woman with children. If I must say her age, she should be at least 50 something. She went to the hotel. He just walked with a pap here. And after the road to go do. The man slumps. That's a, an old video. It trended, I think, since six months ago, but I was only watching it yesterday. And after the man finished doing the thing, the man was fainting. They started pouring him water. And they started interviewing the woman. I felt so ashamed of myself. I hear him whine. We never. Is it women of African countries? This, all these African countries that they used to show on Facebook. When they go to do Jogodo, their husband will pin them. They think about them. I used to watch it on YouTube as well, on Facebook as well. But this yesterday one kept me wondering. I was asking myself, why should a woman cheat? Because the truth is, you don't even have a reason to cheat be it a man, be it woman. But we know in African country, like it is, I don't know how I put it, it's likable for men to cheat and women will forgive. But it's an abomination for women to, to cheat here in Africa. Hmm? So, when you're marrying a useless man who is broke, who doesn't satisfy you, take care of his home and also cheats, when I see you as a wife and you cheat, sometimes I wouldn't judge you. The truth. I'm just saying my mind. I will not judge you as a, as a woman. I will just say, mm, a condition. But when it comes to an elderly woman, just like this video that I watched yesterday, a woman at 50-something, can they hear each other? Is it enjoyment? What will you enjoy again? I will, I, I will not say I'm tired of it, but that thing doesn't freak me anymore because <laughs> I've lived with it over five years now. Mm, it's five years, not six years. That I'm permanently living with it anytime if I turn, I take it. Then they married the woman at, at that age who have been doing it since. Living with it. What else? What urge are you trying to satisfy? Like Obu Berg. That is one point. My other focus is to the young women who are capable. They work, they have kids, they have husband, and they will still cheat. Because I'm confused. When you're a woman and you're working, working class lady, you're married, you have children, you have been doing that and you gave birth to all your children. You are not laughing and you are cheating. I have a question for you. And my simple question is, why? I just want 
even if you don't cheat and you're watching this video can you just tell me why you think they should cheat why sell your pride why insult your generation as a woman why do you know that it is the duty of us the women the wives to pray out our home i'm telling you we have power more than men like we are closer to god more than the men i'm telling you if they stand a man and a woman now and they ask them both to pray and they intercede and ask god for something god will first answer a woman before a man not that I, I, I read such in the Bible, but I'm telling you out of experience. We are usually closer with God than men. If you cheat as a wife, who then will pray out to your home for you? Like, I wonder, like, you will go inside the room now. You will comfortably jaye, comfortably, he jaye, property odobu, agade odobu, you will open it. And all these chingon boys, in a Medici Yoi. All these Chingon boys. And they made you say Yoi. They made you say Yoi. Hey! Like. Like. And you will finish and you will come down from the bed and go home. Don't your conscience prick you? Like. After you finish it, don't you feel shamed? I just want to know. Because I don't understand. Two minutes and enjoyment. Or, but, but the last, last five minutes enjoyment, what is your game? You will be giving us other women the shame because when you cheat, a man that you cheat with will always believe that women are useless, that we are cheaters. You'll be denting our name, you know, Balari. Opening everywhere. And after, apparently, the will still enter. Sorry. If you are a man and your wife cheats, I'm sorry. Because I can't just reason it. And I want to say this. If you are a man watching this, there are some men who will tell you, eh, all women are the same. Biko, all women are not the same. Uh -uh. We are different. They have different types of agada. Yes, there are some that they, they cut their distance. Every hook. I don't want to say it in English. thank you. There are some and every or a and those are the type that if you touch them, that is why I still fear for my daughter because the world of today they don't cut it anymore. And to me, I don't like it. I prefer when they cut that place because you have con like you have. The strength, the mind to hold yourself. What could lead a woman to such thing? Why? Hmm? Is it that na I go bad wrong cock or na be shower at I don't understand. It's on a propeller size of it. Is it donkey size that you want? What is your game? How many minutes? Everything and it will be over. You will feel the shame to get up. And I was talking about those men that used to say, all women are the same. All big, we are not the same. All women are not the same. Yes. Everybody has the same sizes. My size is not her size. Uh, Don't be comparing women with, with every woman. No. There are women that are shameless. Because I still don't understand why you wake up as a married woman and you go and cheat. As in you will sleep and, and dream. You will not feel about it. Tomorrow you go back and do it again. What is your game? What is it that you are searching for? That cheating, is it the last choice? Is it the last solution? Women, we have to stop. We really have to stop. I am always so ashamed when I see a woman that cheats. To be frank. To men, like, I will just be like, you're stupid. But to women, eh, I will curse you. Especially when you have all the things in life. Huh? Some will tell you, eh, I cheat because my husband's thing is very small. Did you not see it before you entered? 
Or you just enter, let me let it be that I answered and married, and you will go and be cheated. For what? When a situation arises in your home, who will sit down and pray your family out? The man? How will you sit and talk to God? How will you have that comfortability and tell God, please, and cry? Or you will come and ask for the forgiveness because he's a merciful God. Or much is he? You will ask for his forgiveness tomorrow, you will go back to it. Like I don't understand. If you're a woman and you're watching this video and you know that you cheat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm shouting at you, but eh? Have a second thought. Adoroma. Abu Nagba Mara Eh? Chat me on my DM and I'll tell you what to do apart from cheating. Cheating is not the last option. And if you're a young lady, you want to get married and you like big things, big, go for big things. Don't go for small things. Leave the small things for those that like small things. So that when you marry, you will be satisfied with your big thing. Or when you marry, you'll be satisfied with your small thing. Don't marry out of pity. This is the lesson, like, this is the message to the young ladies. And for you, the married woman, and you think that you're cheating because your husband doesn't have the donkey size of it, or para propeller and agade. That is the reason why you're cheating. A man, a marry him. In fact, a marry him. Let me not say it in English. Because I don't see a reason a woman should cheat. I have a reason here. I'm saying this now, I've lost appetite for my abad. It's so, This is one thing that pisses me off. I'm a tabacha because it is a bacha. If it were to be another food, I will not eat it again. Guys, I know I'm shouting. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout. Hmm? I'm just upset. This video is not for the men that cheat. This video is just for the women that cheat. If not, I would have finished men. But please, if you're a cheating wife, I'm begging you, reconsider. I'm begging you, please, end it today, okay? Whatever might be the reason, there are other ways to follow it up, okay? Think about your kids, your children. When you cheat as a mother, what lesson will you then teach your children? Who will pray your family out? This cheating of a thing. It doesn't really create a new impact or change anything. Just highest 10 minutes, everything is over. What is your final game? Hmm? If you are a young lady and you know that maybe in future you will end up cheating, because take your time now and flex your life. So that when you will marry, you will not see these things as anything. Because mostly these women cheating today are those ones that are doing holy wedges. When they were single. Then when you will marry, that time is when your eye will not open. It's not fair. Stop denting the image of other women. Okay? Please. Have everything, guys. Thank you so much. The main purpose of this video was just to show you how we make our local abacha and also advise us. In case if you come across this video and you're a woman and you cheat, please let this video touch you somewhere, okay? If you're finding it difficult to stop, reach out to me. DM or email me. Together we'll pray it out, okay? We will solve it together, okay? And I will end here. Thank you so much if you watched up until this point. I truly appreciate. And please don't misunderstand me. I wasn't shouting, I was just angry. Okay. I will see you again when I will see you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. All of those good stuff. Bye.